Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This time it is going to be colorful. We are looking at a workflow around colors and keyshot and the new features that makes it easier to manage colors and save color combinations. Previously, multi-materials had to be created to showcase different designs. This had the disadvantage that all other settings, in addition to the color, had to be adjusted every time something changed, such as roughness. Now, Keyshot uses multicolor and color mode for this use case, which makes it possible to add multiple colors to an existing material. But how does this work? There are two ways to achieve multicolors. The first way is to select a material that should have different color variations. You then click in the color field and can create a multicolor using the button at the top. Then the subcolor list will open and to which additional colors can be added. Color swatches can be added by selecting them and clicking on the plus icon in the top right corner. Otherwise, colors from the Keyshot library can also be used. To do this, select the desired color from the color system of your choice and drag and drop it into the list. It is also a good idea to give this color list a useful name. In this example, the list can be named Base. This makes it easier to work with multiple multicolors and link them to other objects. Another exciting thing about it is that other objects might have different materials applied, such as plastic, metal, fabric, etc. But with the new color workflow, we are specifically defining the color. For example, the letter can be selected and assigned the same multicolor as another material. If you then select a color from the list, it can be seen actively changing on both objects, similar to a linked multi-material. The second way to work with color is to create this list directly in color mode. To do this, you need to switch to the color mode here. Keyshot then displays a reduced user interface that focuses purely on the colors. This is where only the color library with all the folders, multicolors and colorways are listed here. If you want to leave this menu, click on exit color mode at the bottom right and you will return to the original user interface. In this menu, colors can be added to the list of multicolors using drag and drop, or a new multicolor can be created by dragging a color onto an object that does not already have a multicolor applied. This will cause Keyshot to automatically create a new list. Colors can also be added by dragging and dropping them from one list to another. If a color is not needed, you can delete it again using the right mouse button in the context menu. Color combinations can then be defined and saved. If you are happy with your selection, click on the plus icon in the colorways menu. Keyshot automatically creates a combination that can also be renamed using the right mouse button. In this way, possible color combinations can be saved. This makes it easier to select color configurations over multiple objects at once. Colorways can also be defined by their specific color systems, such as Pantone, NCS, Coloro, etc. If you are happy with the color options you have chosen, you can add Active Colorway as a name template in the render settings. This will give your file the name you selected manually and add the Active Colorway automatically. Additionally, you can add colorways that you want to render at once in the render queue. When you click on Process Queue, the renderings will be created and saved in the location you specified. If you are interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button, give us a like and do not forget to let us know your thoughts on this video in the comment section. I'm looking forward for the next time.